Hello and welcome to Paint with Pat. I'm your host, Pat Adams, and today I'm not really blind out what I'm going to do. I'm just going to run with it, see how it goes from there. Nice. I guess I sort of have an idea in mind. It's a bit different than the usual traditional painting, that's for sure. Incorporate somehow the sky into water here. Let's find out in a moment what I mean. And just a bit more color here. Bring it in like that. Lighten this shade up a bit. Some water. Make sure I get this edge here. Let me make this water down here. Already you can see that it's going to be a waterfall right here. With the sky above it. And I'm just going to pull it up. Maybe we get a little ripples in the pond here. I'll bring it out like this. Like this, like this. Sure, we get all the way across here and go over it once more. This part I think I'll make black up here, so I'm just going to leave that. Make sure, you blend it all in here. Okay, bring it around and the waterfall. The waterfall. I'm going to want to go back here. Just take out any blemishes. I'm gonna make it lighter up in here. So I grab some white. Mix it in a little bit with my blue. And then I'm just gonna push it back into the distance here. Create the illusion of lines there. And a little more white up here. A couple of ripples. And in here, like this. Maybe flip it over if you have to. And then I'm going to clean off my brush and head over to the black. Polo shirt's getting nice and used, finally. Years of sitting in a closet. And I'm gonna get a good steady black here. Make it a little viscous. Try and blend that white out streaked in the middle there. Okay, now I'm just gonna throw some land in here. So. Pull it straight across, like that. And I'm gonna bring some land in on this side as well. And some rocks. This I'm just sort of filling in for the moment. I can always go back over it in a sec. So I want this to come right up to here. So go back to the paintbrush or the paint. Get a little more black. Make a hard line on the bottom here. I'm gonna go to a different brush. A little easier with a more soft brush. Make sure it's nice and fluid. And this is where it starts to take shape here. And I'm just gonna cover this all in black here. As I'm doing this, I'm sort of thinking of where rocks would come, so I'm gonna bring it down like this. It's a little too watery, so let's get some more black, that's all. All right, let's see, there's a big rock right here. Oh, wrong edge. It's all right, because you can make that into a reflection. Let's get this black in here. 
wherever need be. And I'm just going to highlight the outside edge to make it look a bit like rocks. Just like this. Let me get rid of that scruffiness down here. Just like that. I'm going to come over to the other side here. And this one's kind of coming over the rock, so I'm just going to trace the outside here. Sort of that the water is in front of. We're going to cover that corner down there in a minute anyway, so it's not that important. And a bit more fluidity. And I'm going to come up over here, let's say. Make another little hilled area. And filling it in, filling it in. Now I'm going to come over and start making trees here. And I guess I want it near but far at the same time. I'm just going to build it all the way up right across here. I can even get a little closer. And just letting the paint fall off the brush as I pull it up. Getting little spiky tops of the trees. And a little more fluidity. Pull it up, pull it up. And already the sky is beginning to take shape. As you can see here. Be out a little bigger on this side. Like that. This is going to be a pretty big waterfall, so I'm just going to pull some trees up here. I'll switch to a better brush, I think. <coughs> that looks good. back to business, so here we go. I'm going to make the trees a bit bigger as I come out over to the right here. Sort of like the land is coming a bit closer. Just like that. And just random trees here. And just thicken it up to wild bush that's growing here. Okay, just like this. Maybe define this little area here with some more rock. And I'm going to do a reflection a bit here, so I'm just going to lightly drag the black across here. Push it a little harder as I go. The side's not quite as defined. And pull it down like this. And I'm going to come back up to that left corner while I got the black here. I'm going to make this little outer space patch over here. So I just want to make sure I get it nice and dark. Just let it break a bit here. Get rid of this white patch. 